Y'all, the Mexican government just dropped a bombshell revealing alien bodies live. These are the remains of 1,000-year-old pilots, according to the Mexican government, that is having a live congressional hearings on UFO UAPs at this moment. En aves que son estrellamientos, sino son seres que estaban sepultados en minas de diatomea, tierra de diatomea. La diatomea es un alga fosilizada con 17 millones de this is an unprecedented and unexpected reveal by the Mexican government in their UAP congressional meeting today. I, I'm still blown away. They are over it. They are saying that um, we are taking too long. We need to start joining the other planets um, or we're going to be left behind. This is the word from the Mexican government live. I mean, look at this little dude. He genuinely looks like E.T. This is crazy and phenomenal. Again, this is a bombshell revelation. Uh, the Mexican government is saying that we are not alone. We have not been alone. Uh, they are advanced. They have technologies beyond knowledge uh, and that it is something that we can learn from and that our children, our future generations can be traveling the stars. What I find more mind blowing is that it's almost impossible for me to find this information and find these live streams. It aired live on Mexican television. And um, after I was looking all over YouTube, I've been looking all over the internet, I couldn't find it. I had to uh, look through news articles. Uh, and one news article that was covering it had a link um, that led me, it was actually blocked here, to a YouTuber unidentified S4. So I thanked them because they even had a little translation uh, pop up. I'm going to have a link to their video uh, and their channel in the description. And this is from their channel. As you can see, this is the congressional hearing that's happening in Mexico. Uh, and he also added a little translator on the side. Uh, it's not 100% accurate, but it gets the point across. Um, I will be watching this whole thing. The, the whole thing is four hours. So I'm going to be watching it, analyzing it, and I'll translate it myself. Uh, I speak Spanish, so I should be able to get exactly what they're saying and get it right to you guys as soon as I can. I'm still blown away. I have a listen. Check out what's going on. This is freaking live. I, I, I can't get over it investigadores, periodistas, como por científicos, que hoy aquí van a dar a conocer algunas de sus extraordinarias conclusiones. I found the official link from the Mexican government uh, after recording the video, so I will have that posted in the description below if you want to watch it uh, full with no edits or anything around the screen. Esos cuerpos que de acuerdo a los científicos que van a declararlo aquí, Son seres no humanos que no son parte de nuestra evolución terrestre y que después de desaparecer no hay una evolución posterior. As you can see, the Mexican government is not holding anything back. They're even talking about how the Pentagon refuses to release inf this information. Um, but they're telling the world, no, the governments do know this is a real thing. Uh, it has been covered up and it is time that it comes to light and it is time that we evolve. En aves que son estrellamientos, sino son seres que estaban sepultados en minas de diatomea. Tierra de diatomea. La diatomea es un alga fosilizada con 17 millones de antigüedad. Es fitoplancton que abundaba. Y'all, this is disclosure. There is non-human intelligence and it is extraterrestrial. Extraordinarias. They're even releasing never before seen UFO and UAP footage. Like, look, this looks like pure energy. I... Uh, this is a, an amazing day for UFOologists. Fenómenos en México, un telescopio donde se puede ver su núcleo y la energía que produce en su derredor. El servicio, perdón, resulta trascendental reconocer estos fenómenos en México, un telescopio donde se puede ver su núcleo y la energía que produce en su derredor. Not surprisingly, all of this has connections to the UFO sightings in Peru. The alien bodies that we're seeing were actually recovered in a mine in Peru. They were found in 2017 between Palpa and Nazca.
They are not a part of our evolutionary line, and they've been carbon dated to about a thousand years old. The Mexican government says they are not mummies, the bodies are fully intact, and they have been thoroughly researched. The expansive research done by the government on the alien bodies included x-rays, digital tomography, carbon-14, forensic analysis, biological analysis, genetic analysis, biological computer analysis, analysis of metallic implants, spectrometry, spectrometry histology, physical analysis, and more. With some very interesting organizations involved in the research, including Abraxas, Lockheed University, and Harrisburg University. And the Mexican government is saying that when they say fully intact these bodies, they mean fully intact. The bodies are fully preserved, including all internal organs and all DNA that they have put through extreme analysis. They have literally all the information. We know what these extraterrestrials are made of. Uh, I, I wonder if we're in communication with them as well. Again, I'm still watching this unfold in real time as you guys are. So I'm receiving this information just as, as you guys are. I'm, I'm literally blown away. I didn't think I was going to make it like 1242 and I'm making a video because I, I can't believe this happened. I mean, look at this, guys. We have undeniable proof the mexican government is coming clean and giving us everything they're even talking about the ships that we have uh the backwards engineering how we're supposed to be using the technology how we should be moving forward and evolving so that we can mingle with these races and travel across the stars so much just came out and while i'm excited for this news and all the updates it's gonna bring i mean we can finally learn about these things in a, in a, a way never thought of before. I am concerned that there may be a disinformation campaign coming up because look, people have to share this from their TVs. Like I'm seeing recordings from other people's TVs because for whatever reason, it is so hard to find. I even typed in um, Mexico, UAP hearing, Congress, government, like any combination you can think of. And it wasn't directly popping up on YouTube, almost like it was like, uh, a shadow ban uh, of sorts again i had to go through news like just google like look for news articles and find a news article that had a link to something that i could watch and 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 gain information from Es lo que importa, lo importante es lo que, lo que podemos demostrar. Mi investigación periodística, la número 5, mi investigación periodística se basa en estudios académicos y científicos realizados en varios países y con el respaldo de algunos de los más prestigiosos laboratorios del mundo. Se han practicado análisis de biólogos, peritos forenses y criminalísticos, genetistas, biofísicos, radiólogos, microcirujanos y hasta ingenieros metalúrgicos, Ustedes dirán, ¿por qué ingenieros metalúrgicos en unos cuerpos? Ahora lo van a saber. Se trata de un extra... Y'all, now we just really need to stay vigilant because the cat is out of the bag and things are going to be moving very, very fast from here. I wonder how the United States is going to respond to Mexico breaking the news first. Si es que nunca se han visto... Y la información genética ya ha sido subida a internet, a un repositorio científico, y las personas con capacidad de poder analizar esa información la pueden ver de, de manera libre. Pueden confirmar o no lo que decimos aquí. En julio de 2017, antes de, presentar, antes de que presentáramos junto con Jaime Maussan y Gaia Televisión... Yo, I still can't believe this happened. I'm going to go comb through the live stream, uh, get information, translate the important parts, and uh, try to get you guys an update tomorrow. It's one o'clock now, but I'm going to see what I can do because I'm, I'm, I'm awake. I'm blown. I can't. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm freaking out right now. Y'all are freaking awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in. Smash like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Wow.